The Royal Palm neighborhood in north central Phoenix, Arizona is located between Northern and Dunlap Avenues from 19th Avenue to 7th Avenue. The area was first settled in the mid 1880s, shortly after the completion of the Arizona Canal, which is located just to the north of the neighborhood. Royal Palm in the early 20th century was part of the Citrus Belt, the primary citrus growing area in the Salt River Valley. This is a view of the neighborhood taken in about 1912 from the northeast quarter of Royal Palm near 7th Avenue in Dunlap. We're looking north uh, at Shaw Butte and North Mountain. This path here is 7th Avenue and the water in this ditch is lateral 12 which is connected to the Arizona Canal. The water in this smaller ditch is taken from lateral 12 and is being used to water the citrus orchards on this piece of land. The earliest known map of the area is this 1889 land plat, which shows that the first two homesteaders had by this time laid claim to the entire square mile of the Royal Palm neighborhood. The large area in yellow, which covers 75% of the neighborhood, was homesteaded by Thomas Boyle in 1884. Boyle was born in Ireland, fought in the Civil War, and worked as a laborer for most of his life. He built his home in the northwest corner of Royal Palm, near 19th Avenue and Dunlap, approximately where the Circle K is currently located. Boyle stated in his homestead that he was growing fruit trees, grapevines, and alfalfa and grain on his land. The remaining 25% of Royal Palm, shown in green, was homesteaded by David Turner in 1886. Turner was originally from England, but lived in California before moving to Arizona. He located his, his house near 7th Avenue in Dunlap, just south of the canal. David Turner was a professional gardener who located a plant nursery on his homestead. This advertisement appeared in the 1888 Phoenix City Directory. Here Turner refers to the business as the Paradise Nursery and states that he specializes in orange trees and apricots. In 1891, Turner said that he had 10,000 young orange trees growing on his land north of Phoenix, and he was planning on putting in another 80 acres of citrus the following spring. After selling the nursery a few years later, Turner worked as the Maricopa County Courthouse Gardener in downtown Phoenix and prospected for gold in Canada. Beginning in 1908, the Diller and Schumacher families settled on several parcels of land in the Royal Palm neighborhood. The two families were originally from Ohio and related by marriage. The bright orange areas were owned by the Dillers and located mostly on 7th Avenue between Dunlap and Butler. South of Butler, the land in the darker orange was owned by Sam Schumacher. One of the houses built by the Dillers in this area is still in existence. This is the Adam Diller Senior Home located along 7th Avenue between Dunlap and Butler at approximately Lawrence Lane. The Dillers built this house in 1912 using concrete blocks which they made themselves. A comparison of the photo on the left which is from about 1920 to the one on the right which is from the current day suggests that only a few changes to the exterior of the building have been made in the past century. The windmill used to pump water from the well appears in the early photo, but is absent uh, from the recent photo. A back building and a fence have been added to the modern day home. About a quarter mile to the south, Adam Diller's son Daniel built a two-story home at the corner of 7th Avenue and Butler. Although the house is no longer standing, this panoramic view to the northeast was taken from the second floor of Daniel's home in about 1920. In the distance, North Mountain is prominent to the northeast and Shaw Butte to the north. In front of North Mountain, this small hill is currently referred to as S Mountain and displays an S for Sunny Slope. The high school is located just to the south. The roof of Adam Diller's home whose house we just saw on the last slide can be seen here. The windmill is right here adjacent to the house. Several of the variety of crops Daniel grew can be seen in this photo. The citrus grove is just below the father's house 
and this field appears to be alfalfa. To the east, corn and possibly vegetables are growing along the edge of the property near 7th Avenue, which can be seen right here. The dealers were known for their ability to grow a variety of crops, but their name is most closely associated with growing citrus. One reason for this was their development of a new variety of orange in 1918. The orange was juicy with few seeds and known as the Dillers Special or Dillers Sweet, now listed as a variety of Arizona sweet. A healthy citrus tree can live and produce good fruit for over 100 years, and there are likely a number of productive Diller orange trees still in the Royal Palm vicinity. New trees of the variety can also be purchased at nurseries in the area. In this view, we see the Schumachers harvesting their groves, which were located on either side of 7th Avenue. They are picking the fruit, putting it into canvas bags, and then loading it into wooden field boxes. At the packing house, the fruit will, will be sorted, cleaned, and repacked in the shipping crates with brand labels attached to the ends of each box. The orange industry did well in Arizona for many years because the fruits ripened here a few weeks earlier than in California. This gave Arizona a significant advantage in the early season market. Another important grower in Royal Palm was I.R. DeMiller, who had two pieces of land in the area, one near 11th Avenue in Dunlap and the other just south of Butler at 7th Avenue. Here is a photo of Miller standing in one of his groves, possibly the one around 9th Avenue in Dunlap. The photo was taken in about 1920. For over a decade, Miller served as manager of the Arizona Citrus Growers Association. It was under his management that a large citrus packing plant was built near 7th Street and Jackson, where Chase Field, home of the Diamondbacks, now stands. Finally, here is a map that portrays the varieties of crops grown in Royal Palm in 1926. The most popular was citrus, shown in bright green and located mainly in the eastern half of the neighborhood, particularly in the northeast quarter where David Turner's 1888 nursery was once located. Running a close second to citrus in the area was cotton, shown in the mustard color, which was more prominent in the western part of Royal Palm. Other important crops included fruit trees, shown as diamond hatched areas, and alfalfa, depicted by the horizontally lined rectangles. Within a few years after this map was published, the citrus growing centers of the valley had moved from along the Arizona Canal to the suburbs of Phoenix. By the time the, the first post-war subdivision was built in Royal Palm, many of the farms and groves in the neighborhood had been converted to horse properties. Thanks for viewing.